Hi, how are you? We're getting ready for our special Christmas Mass today, and I want to welcome you to this wonderful celebration. It's been a long advent, I think, for most of us, as we've celebrated liturgy, sometimes only online, because so often we can't get into the church. So we welcome you today to this celebration of Christmas. This advent has been difficult for many of us with this COVID pandemic raging, some people getting vaccinated, many others not. We pray for everyone, and especially in a special way, remember during this Mass, those who have died from COVID, over 800,000 just in our country. We want to especially remember them for all of their families and for all of the suffering of anyone who lost a loved one, especially during this Christmas season when the pain can become even more. Sometimes as we see so many people celebrating and we've lost a loved one, the pain in our heart sometimes increases. So please, during this Christmas celebration of our liturgy, please remember all of those who have suffered a loss in any way. And they need our prayers, they need our support. We begin our liturgy very soon and we welcome. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. My sisters and brothers, may the love of God the Father, the love of the Lord Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with each and every one of you. And with your spirit. Merry Christmas. We celebrate today as God's people who have been saved by the Nativity, the Incarnation of Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, we are filled with joy and with love today. As we hear God's word and celebrate this beautiful feast of Christmas, I ask you to join me first in considering the times when we have not seen God in ourselves or in one another. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, on earth peace, to people of good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty oh Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ. Spirit. 
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created the dignity of the human person and still more wonderfully restored it, we pray that we may share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be attentive now to God's word. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people making merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God, Hero, Father forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is born our Savior Christ the Lord. Today is born our Savior Christ the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful in all that is in them. Then shall the trees of the forest exult. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. They shall exult before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constant care. Today is born our Savior, Christ the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all, in training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse us for himself as people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. The first enrollment, when Quirinius was governor of Syria, happened. So all went to be enrolled, each to their own town. And Joseph, too, went up from Galilee from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, 
because he was of the house and the family of David. He went to be enrolled with Mary, whom he was engaged to, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth to her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant lying in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to those on whom God's favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, do not think that tonight, this holy night, is only about the birth of Jesus. Let's not limit this to a celebration of what happened in the past. Let it also be about what is now in the present and what might be in the future. Look into the holy child's face in the manger and then see his face in every other person who crosses your path each day. That is the reality of his birth now. We must show this reality every day in our lives. We must see his face not only in the little plaster nativity scenes all around us, but we must see Christ in every face, in the goodness, the holiness, the beauty, the tragedies, everything in life and in ourselves. It's what God wants for us. In some deep way, this baby, this Christ child, shows us who we are, who we can become, and what our life is about. His birth offers us a new beginning. Who among us is not at one time or another wanted to start all over, not just to do things differently, but to be different. This Christmas feast is our night, our day of new beginnings. Today, God removes the mask and reveals in Jesus the truth about our humanity. In this child, we see ourselves. Jesus is the face of peace. Let's not be violent or anxious. Jesus is the face of love. Let's not hate. Jesus is the face of compassion. Let's not be indifferent. Jesus is the face of gentleness. Let's not be mean or hurtful. Jesus is the face of joy. Let us not be overwhelmed by sorrow. Jesus is wrapped in humanity. Let us be wrapped in divinity. My sisters and brothers, a child is born to us and we see the face of God all around us. Let's become that face to everyone we meet. Merry Christmas. God bless us, each and every one. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread and this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed be God forever. O Lord, may our offerings be worthy of the mysteries of the nativity we celebrate today, that just as Christ was born among us and also shone forth as God, on these earthly gifts may also confer on us what is divine. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. 
My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the mystery of the word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our hearts, so that we recognize in him you made visible, we may be caught up through him in the love of things invisible. And so now with all the angels and archangels, thrones and nominations, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we praise you forever in the words of the prophet Isaiah. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his life, death, and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, our clergy, and all your holy people. Remember also our sisters and our brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Remember in a special way all of those who are with us today celebrating this Christmas Mass. We remember all of your deceased loved ones. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, Francis, Anthony, St. Clair, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. On this Christmas celebration, gathering our needs with the needs of the church, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, amen. My sisters and brothers on this beautiful celebration of Christmas, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other some sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring all of us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, as we honor the joyful devotion of the nativity of your Son, Jesus, that we may come to know with fullness of faith the hidden depths of this mystery and to love them ever more and more. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My friends, you see here this beautiful nativity set. This was brought by one of our friars who has since gone to God. This beautiful nativity set is made of alabaster. You see Joseph and Mary and the infant. This is a treasure that we have here in this friary that we like to share with you this evening. On behalf of all the Franciscan friars who pray for you, who love you, who care for you, and who deeply appreciate your wonderful generosity to us for our work with the poor, we ask you to please remember that there are so many, especially now who are going without. We ask you to please remember them with your generosity to us, especially during this Christmas season. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And from all of us to all of you, Merry Christmas and God bless us, each and every one. Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive. I hope you enjoyed the celebration of this Eucharist as much as I did. It was a privilege and a pleasure celebrating this Christmas Mass with each and every one of you. Please know that the Franciscan Friars serve over two million people who are lacking in food, shelter, clothing, or just companionship, anyone to be with them during trying times. 
The Franciscans try deeply to help the poor as much as we can, but we can't do it without you, with your prayers, and with your financial support. This Christmas, open your Franciscan hearts. Please, give generously to the Franciscan friars so that we can give generously to the poor who come to us. A Franciscan heart is always open to generosity to the poor and to love of all as sisters and brothers. So join us, open your Franciscan hearts, and help us help others. God bless you and a very Merry Christmas. Late, repeat the sounding joy.